in all seriousness. You guys have no idea how much I've missed you. Hello, everybody. Hi, welcome back. This is my new home, and today I'm going to show you my new studio. I think, let's think back. Hmm. One, two, this is the third studio I've had since I've known you or since I've started making videos. So this is the third and final ever <laughs> quilting studio. I don't know that you should ever use absolutes like never and ever, but seriously, this is the last quilting studio. <laughs> I don't ever want to move again. If you have been watching my videos for any amount of time, then you know we have just finished up a move. Matter of fact, there's still boxes all throughout the house. <laughs> But uh, several of you have asked for new studio updates. So since we've moved, <laughs> I have not met, been making videos for, wow, almost two months. Has it been that long? We had some hangups with our closing, moving in. Finally, we closed. We lived in our RV for a little over a month and we're just in limbo. But we have moved in and we are unpacking with a strong focus on the family room, kitchen, and studio, and Harlan's working on his office, but he's on work travel this week. But I think I have finalized what I think is final, my studio. So I thought I would bring you along and show you my new studio setup. It is much smaller than the studio I had at the house before moving here, but I love it. I think it is going to be so productive and just the way that it's set up and, um, Yes, I love it. So a little history about this house that we just moved into, that we just bought. Uh, this house has transformed over the years. The main part of the house, which is the part that Harlan and I live in, is 113 years old. So there is a lot of character with this house. The floors are original, although many uh, portions of the rest of the original part of the house has been uh, transformed in some way throughout the years. Um, our pantry that you're going to see, I'm going to do a quick little walk through of the house before we move into the studio. The pantry used to be an outside deck. The studio at one point used to be an outside deck. Um, yeah, I, I think this house went through lots of different transformations through the 100, 113 years. Uh, but what I love about it is that it's quirky and it's homey and cozy feeling. And um, the floors, I love that they're the original floors and they're not perfect. And uh, they're a lot like me. <laughs> I love them so much. So um, yeah, and then, so um, many of you know that we were looking for a house that has a house for me and Harlan. And then in addition, separate but attached for my parents. So this house has that. And my studio is on the first floor, which I really wanted. And it has an outside entrance in addition to being able to access it through the house, which was really important for my business. However, can I just be really honest with you? <laughs> we are out in the boonies. And I don't know many clients who are going to drive the hour plus that it takes to get here. Although their drive is beautiful. If you love farms and country fields and um, magnolia trees uh, and horses, then you would love to drive over. But in realistic and all honesty, I just don't know many clients that are going to drive all the way out here. Although our small town, Matthews, Virginia, has uh, many great local restaurants that we've tried many of them. We still have several left to try and uh, art store or boutiques and antique stores. So if you're ever this way and you want to visit, just let me know. All right. So what I'm going to do before we head into the studio um, is just give you a quick little rundown of downstairs because I just think it's so dang cute. And then we're going to move into the studio. So we're going to start right here where we were. This is our dining room. And um, see those floors? Aren't they so pretty? Now, if you look really closely, there's all kinds of uh, things going on with them. But 
Oh, I just love, I love them so much. So this is our dining room and pardon the mess. See, we still have lots to unpack and to put away. <laughs> and uh, so that's very much a work in progress, right? So there's that mess. But this is our dining room. And uh, I just, I just love how cozy this house feels. It feels very much like a home already. And this is our family room, which is, <laughs> if you saw the family room in the house before, then you know this one is ex way, way, way smaller. But um, gosh, we just really love it. We really do. So we still have lots of stuff to put away. Like, um, But I have started hanging quilts on the wall. See that? <laughs> and uh, the kitties have adjusted very well. The bird, just the last two days, has started uh, relaxing. He was not having a, an easy time with this move, but um, the last two days, he's done really well, so we're happy. And this is walking through the front door. Uh, we've painted everything, and we need to paint and touch up. Uh, some things in the stairway got messed up moving in. <laughs> and this is walking through this way. We have a little nook here. We're gonna put a desk and uh, some other little things there. Isn't that cute? So uh, walking in, my studio is here and we're gonna go in there in just a minute. But I just wanted to walk you through, if I don't make you camera stick, <laughs> holding the camera like this. But uh, this is walking to the kitchen this is a portion that used to be a deck at one point. It used to be outside and they opened it up and framed it in and uh, we're using it as like a butler's pantry. Isn't that cute? I, when we saw this house for the first time, I was like, we could, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas, put all the food right through here, walk in from the kitchen through here and go straight to the dining room table. Isn't that perfect? Um, yeah, so there's my kitchen. And here's the pantry from this way. It does have a, a bathroom downstairs. And then walking into our kitchen, which again is much smaller than the house we uh, just moved from, but it is so functional and simple and I love it. I love it so much. And uh, this is the set of doors then open up and goes to my parents' portion of the house. So they have a family room. I don't want to video them in case they're napping. <laughs> they have a family room, a bedroom. Uh, we're working on a kitchen for them and a full bathroom. So they have their own little apartment over there. And then we have two bedrooms and a full bathroom upstairs and that all of that is full of boxes upstairs. So we're not gonna go that way. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, through the dining room, at one port, at one part in time, uh, from what we're told, is this used to be in just an outside deck, right? And then uh, the previous owners built what they called the tiki bar, and evidently, <laughs> from what I'm told by countless people that we meet. This used to be quite the hangout. Uh, very, they were very social and had lots and lots of friends come and this was a bar. Um, so yeah, <laughs> now it's more like a quilt hut. So we're gonna come through and uh, yeah, I guess I'm okay holding the camera like this. I was gonna set it up on a tripod, but I think we're good this way. Uh, <laughs> I think the theme of this video is this room is much smaller than the house we moved from, <laughs> but I love it. So I did, I was able to fit Mr. Bobbins in, that's my long arm, and it actually fits in here much better than what I thought it would. And uh, Harlan put this floor in, this was just decking, so he put this floor in uh, before the movers came. And then I have my work set up here. And uh, so this is where I'll cut fabric and square up quilts 
and film a lot of videos. We have these great doors. See this? Uh, sliding doors going out towards the front of the house and then uh, sliding doors that go out towards the back. However, there is a back door that goes to a screened in porch right there and that's the door uh, that I would use to go in and out. So walking in, <laughs> y'all remember my fabric wall? I would say predominantly in the world of quilting studios and quilters with stashes of fabric, my fabric stash has always been what I would call, um, I wouldn't even say moderate. I think I had a small quilting fabric stash, but now it is much smaller. Like this is all the room that I have for fabric. So um, I've pretty much resigned to the fact that if something comes in the studio, something is gonna have to leave, <laughs> right? I'm gonna have to use a lot of what I have if I want anything new because my fabric storage is at capacity. She's full. <laughs> And this is my work set up. And looking out towards the dining room, this is what that view is like, right? So um, I have my long arming thread and a bunch of different notions there. And uh, a lot of my rollers are already hanging up. Underneath of the Mr. Bobbins, underneath that frame, and underneath of these tables, uh, there's just bins of stuff. <laughs> I had to downsize uh, a good portion of my journaling stuff. And uh, even with all of the bins, I still had to downsize quite a bit of stuff. So let me show you all my setup. If I'm sitting at the sewing machine, look, I got all professional while, <laughs> since the last time I saw you. I got a professional boom mic with a la laptop stand, overhead mounted camera stands. I have one that uh, comes up for the sewing machine right there. I have my scan and cut right next to me, which I love that. I can't wait to try that. Uh, but everything is here in working distance, right? So here's my setup. There's my Juki and um, so one thing I did in this studio is lowered these two tables. See those two are higher? At my previous studio, all of my tables were that high and I could not use my, uh, my knee lift. So I lowered these two tables and now I can use my knee lift. So I'm excited about that. But this is my setup for when I'm live with you all. Isn't that view so peaceful? Isn't that so pretty? Oh my goodness. Um, like at my last studio, I couldn't see out the window unless I got up and walked over and looked out the window. So I love that. And you can just see the building out that way. That's Harlan's office. So I can see him coming and going while he's working. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is my fabric storage and I have all of my working thread right here at uh, an arm's length. So that's nice. And uh, of course, uh, I don't think I would be Lisa Capen without having baskets. Y'all should see all the baskets spread out through my, <laughs> through my house so far. Uh, I had all my fabric scraps stored in baskets and there was just not room in the studio for that. So I had to downsize my fabric scraps as well. So um, this tiki bar had uh, a raised up place. See the steps? So there's steps going up to this area. And uh, this is more like the arts and crafts section and embroidery. <laughs> so I have my embroidery machine set up there. Underneath of this counter is some storage area and it's completely full of bins and gadgets <laughs> that needed a place to go. Um, I have my smaller 15 by 15 press 
and uh, I have that one because it has all the attachments to do plates and mugs and things like that so that's uh, gonna live right there and then my big heat press for sublimation is gonna live here and in this little small dresser that's all of my journaling stuff <laughs> Y'all remember the cabinet that I uh, tipped over right before we moved? All of that stuff. I had to downsize to these two drawers. I guess I shouldn't say that though because there are these cabinets here and there's some journaling stuff in these two cabinets that are on the wall there. Isn't that cool though? So uh, I have a little sink in here. There is a pretty stained glass piece, but the sun's coming through so bright that uh, it's not gonna focus on that. And then uh, this, uh, this was my Nana's piece. And I saved it and I'm using it for all of my sublimation stuff. So all of my papers, inks, and all kinds of sublimation goodies are stored in there. Now I have been super busy <laughs> organizing and putting things away. Like uh, I've color sorted my vinyl. So that's uh, Oracle vinyl sorted by different color sheets. How organized is that? And then heat transfer vinyl is at the bottom. Like <laughs> I just feel so organized. The only thing that I haven't sorted out is everything that goes back in those uh, bins. You can see them all in bags there and there's a box down here that uh, when I get some free time and I feel like organizing something, I can sort all of that stuff out. But I have a shelf for all of my packing stuff because I still uh, am gonna be doing the photos on fabric through my Etsy shop. so. That's all my packing stuff. And this is taking a look at the room from way back in the corner. So it actually looks kind of big, right? In this, in this view, she looks really big. But she is half the size <laughs> that, uh, that the studio was at the other house. But she has really tall ceilings and uh, it gets really hot in here in the afternoon because there's these giant windows up in this corner of the house and that's where the sun goes in the afternoon and comes in here and just heats this room up instantly. So uh, I have two ACs out here and we've had kind of a mild spring. I'm a little anxious to see what the summer does but the awesome thing is, is I can close that door and hopefully keep this room pretty cool. So, uh, let me just walk you outside this door because I think it's so pretty out here. I have to move that box first. So this is the outside entrance, right? Uh, <laughs> if someone did drive all the way out here to see me, uh, more than likely I'd have you come through the front door. <laughs> but. Here's my outside entrance, and I have my own little screened-in patio. It's a screened-in deck. There's lots of birds here. Hear him? And uh, the cats actually like to come sit out here in the afternoon and uh, yell at the birds. <laughs> So I have my own little screened in patio. And then this leads outside. Ooh, that's hot, 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 hot. I don't have shoes on. <laughs> so uh, this is the entrance, the outside entrance to my studio. And there's lots of wasp here. And I have my own little flower garden, which needs a lot of attention, y'all. <laughs> but there's just never enough time in a day to do all the things, right? But uh, isn't the view so pretty? 
It's so quiet out here. We have a persimmon tree. I've never had a persimmon before. I'm looking forward to that. We have Concord grapes, which there's thousands of grapes growing on that vine. I'm looking forward to that. There's a blueberry bush and it's loaded with blueberries. So this deck walks over to behind our kitchen. And again, pardon all the stuff. Like we've just been unloading stuff and I am pretty certain that all these chairs and stuff are not going to live right here on this deck. But so this is our back door, right? And I'll just do a little scan. There's Harlan's uh, office and home for his tractor. And then we had a shed uh, delivered. And so all his tools are going in there. And one day uh, he would like to build a more permanent structure uh, in the back uh, for his office and things like that. And then that would be just like storage, right? Um, and then the deck is hot. I'm going to walk real quick. My parents have their own portion of a deck behind their part of the house. Isn't that cool? Like, we made a list of things we wanted. Wow, that deck is hot. Of what we wanted, and we were super blessed to uh, find this house. We looked at lots and lots of houses, y'all. I'm going to walk real quick. I'm going to shake you up. Because it is hot. It is hot. It is hot. Wow. Whew. Let's go back in. <laughs> I guess I should have wore some shoes. So this is it, y'all. I am so looking forward to getting back to work. I actually did sew something yesterday. Uh, I had been working on a pattern in my downtime. Uh, it's a birdhouse trivet for big pots. And it's paper piecing. So this is going to be the first live. I think it's uh, June the 23rd, not tomorrow, but the following Friday. So join me for that. And uh, yes, I am super excited to spend some time with you in this studio. I think it's going to work really, really well. And I've missed y'all so much. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. This is my new studio. And uh Yes, I'll look forward to hanging out with you soon. Bye, everybody. Oh, sorry, it's been so shaky. <laughs> I've got to get back into the swing of things. Bye, everybody.